Good morning, children. How are you all of you? I, I hope everybody is fine at home. Let me introduce myself. My name is Habib Janu. I am your science teacher. Today, I am going to discuss with you the adaptation in animals. Let me explain what is uh, adaptation and uh, how animals are adapting their surroundings. We have learned that uh, our plants and animals are living things. What do they need to survive? Yes, to survive they need food, water and air. What do they need? Food, water and air. Is it sufficient to survive in this world? No. Including these, they need shelter and right climate. So, including these, what do they need? Shelter and right climate too. You know, plants and animals are living in various places. They live in cold places as well as hot and dry places. And also, they live in water like rivers, seas, oceans, wells, ponds and etc. We will learn in this lesson uh, about uh, the habitat of uh, animals in their surroundings. Before moving over, let us first learn habitat. What? Habitat. What is a habitat? Yes, the natural home for animals is called habitat. What is a habitat? The natural home for animals is called habitat. What kind of animals are living in our surroundings? Many organisms like cows, dogs, monkeys, uh, camels, uh, and uh, human beings, goats, sheep, like many organisms are living in our surroundings. Do they have own houses? No. Then how did they survive? Yes, let me introduce how they are living in their surroundings. Before moving on, first uh, we have to know a terrestrial animals. What? What is a terrestrial animals? The animals which live on land. Where they will live? On land. The animals, the animals which live on land are called terrestrial animals. What? Terrestrial animals. For example, cows, dogs, sheep, human beings, camels, uh, man, like uh, many, many uh, animals are living in our surroundings. Do you know they have special qualities to live on land? Let me explain what type of uh, qualities do they have. Actually, they have uh, suitable bodies to live on land. And how did they breathe? Yeah, they breathe with the help of lungs. 
how did they breathe it with the help of lungs mm, the special organs like uh, lungs with the help of lungs they can breathe and also some of the animals have short teeth and claws uh, what is the use of this uh, short uh, short uh, teeth uh, they can catch their prey and they can eat that uh, flesh so most of the animals have legs they run fast they catch their prey and also they can escape from enemies in suppose if they are in a difficult situation they have to escape from that place so which body parts they will use they will use legs no yeah with the help of legs they can run fast in that situation so like this they have special qualities to live on land so what are the terrestrial animals the animals which live on land are called terrestrial animals we discussed plants and animals are living in various places you know plants and animals living in a certain place surrounded by adapting themselves to the condition of that places so they are living in various places they will adapt their habitat like uh, some are living in cool conditions some are living in hot conditions some are living in uh, uh, what is it some are living in cool conditions hot conditions and water in water also so let me explain the first uh, the cool conditions which type of animals will live in these conditions do you know have you seen a uh, polar bear yes a polar bear live in cool conditions which conditions a polar bear live cool conditions mm. how does it protect from that cold yeah a polar bear has thick fur coat and white furry feet with the help of these they can protect their body from that cold with the help of uh, wide furry feet they uh, which helps to walk on snow like that a polar bear adapting their habitat in this cool conditions is polar bear living only in this condition no many organisms are living in that uh, cool conditions for example penguins and walrus these also living in cool conditions now let us move on to that uh, hot conditions mm. hot conditions which type of animals are living hot conditions camels uh, desert uh, lizards and uh, some uh, foxes some snakes many organisms also living in a hot condition the animals which live in a hot conditions that uh, we are calling they are they are uh, adapting in that uh, habitat so do you know desert uh, do you know camels have you ever seen camels yes you know camel has a thick coat i mean thick skin how does it uh, protect uh, itself from this hot condition with the help of uh, thick skin in the sense a camel has a thick skin which protect it from sun and cold and also camel has a nostrils not nostrils the nostrils uh, can close so 
camel has a uh, thick skin which protect it from sun and cold you know where does camel store their energy have you ever seen camel has a hump back it has a, a round shape that called as a hump have you ever seen yes the camels camel store its energy in this hump so the fat filled in this hump so the fat filled hump stores energy whenever they did not get sufficient water or whenever they did not get sufficient food they will use this fat like energy how did they use this fat they can use like a energy and camels also have long legs have you seen camels legs yes it have very long why do they have long legs by the help of this long legs they protect their body and they keep their body away from hot sand in deserts we have uh, very hot sand no then how did they walk they can't walk so with the help of this long legs and also uh, they have wide wide feet which feet they have wide feet with the help of this wide feet they can protect their body to walk on sand okay so here camel has adapted their habitat in cool conditions do you know we can call camel camel is also called as des ship of desert camel called as ship of desert why did we call camel is a ship of desert because the uh, camel carries a uh, huge loads and they carries strangers too right yeah so the hot conditions what type of animals are living uh, camels desert lizards etc many organisms uh, many organisms are live in hot condition now we will move on to that uh, water some animals are living in water no in this water we call aquatic habitats the animals which live in water that animals we are calling aquatic animals what is the mean of aquatic aquatic means water what is aquatic aquatic means water what is the mean of aquatic water so the animals which live in water are called aquatic animals do you, uh, can i can you give some examples which type of uh, animals are living in aquatic mm. so animals which live in water are called aquatic animals give some examples fishes dolphins whales and etc no let us uh, know about fish how does a fish live in water you know fish has a special organs called gills so what is the special organs in a fish gills what is the use of this gills fish can live in water and it breathe itself through this 
gills. So, fish how does fish breathe with the help of gills and how does a, a fish swim in water? Yeah, they have one more organ that is called fins. With the help of fins, fish swim in water and they can change their directions the, uh, and also they balance their body in the, the help of a fish. So, is this fish only living in this uh, aquatic animal? No, like dolphins and whales. Have you ever seen dolphins? Have you ever seen in whales? Yes. See, how did uh, these dolphins uh, breathe in water? Yeah, the dolphins also have lungs. With the help of lungs, they breathe in water. How did they breathe in water? Whenever they want to breathe, they come up to the surface of water and they breathe. Whenever they need to breathe, they come up to the water surface and they breathe. Why can't fish live on land? Do you know why can't fish live on land? Yeah, we discussed no fish uh, breathe through gills. If fish come out of the water, gills will not work. They can't breathe with the gills. So fish leave, fish breathe only in water with the help of gills. So that fish cannot breathe with the help of gills whenever it has surface of a water. So, th that is why fish cannot live, uh, live on land. So, that uh, we discussed about aquatic animals. Let us move the other conditions. Just now we discuss uh, some different different conditions uh, uh, animals are adapting themselves. Now we will discuss some animals they will adapt their habitat on land and also in water. So let us uh, explain what are those. The animals which live on land and in water are called amphibians. What? Amphibians. So, what are the amphibians? The animals which live on land which live on land and also In water, the animals which live on land and in water are called amphibians. Now you understood? What are the amphibians? What are the amphibians? The animals which live on land and in water are called amphibians. What are the examples of amphibians? For examples, frogs, toads, salamander, and etc. What are the examples of uh, amphibians? Frogs, toads, salamanders, and a uh, crocodile. Oh, so many organisms are living in uh, on land and also in water. They also have a specialized organs to live on land 
and also to live in water. How does a fish live on land? Fish also has a lungs. With the help of lungs, fish, uh, with the help of lungs, frogs live on land. How did they live in water? The frogs can breathe with the help of skin. The skin only are breathing when the frog is in water. So, with the help of lungs, they breathe on land. With the help of skin, they breathe in water. So, amphibian act as a, uh, so frog is act as a amphibian. What? What is a amphibian? Frog act as a amphibian. Why? It was living on land and also living in water. And they have webbed feet. With the help of webbed feet, they can swim in water while on land they can walk with the help of webbed feet. Webbed feet. So, with the help of webbed feet, the frogs move on land and also they swim in water. So, like this, some animals live on land and in water. Let us move on. Some more animals, they are adapting their habitat on trees. Have you ever seen what kind of uh, animals uh, uh, moving on trees? Uh, small, small insects we could see, ants also we could see, but uh, uh, huge, uh, are, uh, huge animals like uh, monkeys and uh, some uh, squirrels, these are living in, uh, living on lands. So, the animals which live on trees we are calling arboreal animals, arboreal animals. What are the arboreal animals? The animals which live on land in the sense they adapt their habitat in trees. So, the animals which live on trees are called arboreal animals. What we are calling arboreal animals. You know how did they survive on trees? Monkeys and uh, squirrels, they have a strong arms and what they have? Strong arms and legs to climb trees. With the help of strong arms and legs, they climb trees. And also, they have a sharp claws. With the help of sharp claws, they cling on tightly to branches. Have you ever seen how the monkeys are jumping one branch to another branch? Yeah, with the help of sharp claws, they can cling on tightly to that branches and they can move one branches to another branches. Like that some organisms are living on trees. So, what are those? Monkeys, squirrels and other organisms. Only these uh, animals only living in our surroundings? No. Some animals also they are adapting a different habitat. Have you ever seen birds? Yes. What is their habitat? Yeah, that we will discuss now. You know, some animals like uh, birds, bats, most of the time they spend to fly in air. No? Ah, yes. Here, bats and birds. 
so how how does a bird survive in this uh, um, conditions you know birds uh, have feathers have you ever seen birds have feathers ah they the first whatever they have the feeds they change into wings they their feeds the front feeds changed into wings with the help of uh, uh, weathers they can fly in the air how did they fly in the air because their bones their bones are hollow hollow and light so that they can fly in the air with the help of hollow and light bones they can fly in the air so like this uh, uh, so they are flying in the air no so that we are calling this animal aerial aerial animals so they are almost they are spending their time to fly in air so that we are calling the animals which fly in air we are calling aerial animals okay like this different different animals they are depending in different different conditions different different places okay after we will move how these animals live and they survive in this surroundings so what are the aerial animals like birds and bats have you ever seen bats oh yes they we cannot see in sunlight only night times we can see bats why can why can't we see a morning itself because bats they will come night times and they will search their food at a night no and birds also in our surroundings uh, we can see uh, pigeons a uh, crows and uh, sparrows so different different uh, kinds of uh, birds we can see in our surrounding most of the time they'll spend to uh, sit on trees whenever they need some food so they want to search their food to survive no at the time they fly in air so those animals are flying in the air are called aerial animals what we are calling aerial animals what are the examples of aerial animals birds and bats many organisms what are the amphibians the animals which live on land and also live in water are called amphibians what are the examples of amphibians frogs toads salamander and crocodile etc so these animals are uh, depending in different a uh, different uh, uh, habitats and they adapt to different different habitats now we will discuss these animals have three categories that are some are eating plants and some are eating flesh and some other animals eating plants and flesh both they will eat actually where do we get uh, this food most of the animals are depend on trees have you ever seen in our surroundings we have plenty of uh, trees by using these uh, plants and trees they survive in this world no so let us uh, discuss uh, which type of animals can eat uh, and what are that uh, uh, food habits that we will discuss now let us move on mm -hmm. 
now we discuss no most of the animals depend on plants most of the animals where did they depend they depend on plants some animals they will eat only plants what they will eat only plants that animals we are calling car, uh, herbivorous what we are calling herbivorous and some animals are eating only flesh that uh, flesh eating animal we are calling carnivorous and some other animals they will eat flesh and plants too so these animals we are calling omnivorous what we are calling omnivorous we will discuss about this uh, all uh, clearly in upcoming classes up to this we have to know a uh, briefly about this uh, animals so what are the herbivores the plant eating animals we are calling herbivores the flesh eating animals we are calling carnivores the flesh and plants eating animals we are calling omnivores okay uh, so let me recall what we have learned in this lesson we learn about the adaptation in animals right some animals they adapt their habitat in cool, cold conditions and some are they are adapting their uh, habitat in hot conditions and some are they are adapting their habitat in water and some animals are living on land some animals are living in air like that we discussed uh, different different animals are living in different different conditions so to whom we are calling amphibians amphibians means what amphibians means the animals which live on land and in water those animals we are calling amphibians aerial animals means what birds because birds fly in the air so that animals we are calling aerial animals what are the uh, uh, terrestrial habit animals terrestrial animals means what uh, the animals which live on land are called terrestrial habitat so this we learn and uh, we learn about uh, fishes frogs dolphins camels like that why do we call a camel is a ship of desert because camels carry heavy loads and also camel carry strangers and these uh, animals how do they get food they can't prepare their own food they always are uh, depending on other organisms like plants okay so some animals depend to eat plants that whatever the plants uh, whatever the animals eat plants are called herbivores some animals they will eat only the flesh the uh, other animal flesh so that type of animals we are calling carnivores and some other animals they depend on other animals flesh and also they will eat plants so these we will discuss clearly in a next class with the examples okay okay so we will discuss clearly in next class i would like to share with you some few words nowadays we are fighting with the covid 19 uh, we can't predict ourselves so that ourselves we have to be always hygienic when we were in hygienic 
some diseases won't reach us so everybody uh, regularly you have to wash your hands when you go out when you come inside of the house and uh, take care of yourself be always hygienic stay safe and stay home thank you